Um, thank you for joining up with All Age Arts. I'm Mrs. Anderson. Kids like to call me Mrs. A. Today's artist that we're going to talk about is Lois Malou Jones. And here's a printout of one of her beautiful paintings. I really like the way that she segments her artwork into different geometric shapes. Some of her shapes, she leaves a solid color. Um, with thick and thin line, we are going to create our artworks. I was really inspired by Lois Malou Jones. I like the way that she shares her travels and her interest in her artwork. So today we're gonna put on our thinking caps. You can do a um, vertical composition artwork or you can do horizontal composition. You can use the whole piece of paper or a half piece of paper or um, a different color of paper. But I need you to put your thinking caps on and think about what you want to share with the viewer about yourself, your interests, your hobbies, your favorite colors, your favorite food, whatever it may be. All right, let's go into materials that you'll need. All right, for materials for this project, I'm going to use markers and crayons. I might use the crayons. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but I always like to have them here. For my paper, I like to experiment on different colors of paper, but I think I'm going to use my white paper today, but I will be folding it in half. That's the size of the paper that I will be working on today. Go ahead and go grab your materials. Let's get to work. Again, today we are inspired by the artwork created by Lois Malou Jones. And I did print out some pictures so that you could see some of her beautiful paintings, the way she really segments her artwork into geometric shapes. Um, we can be inspired by that, by the color. Um, today I really do want you to think about things that can represent uh, maybe hobbies or interests of your own. So I'm going to take this big, large piece of paper, I'm going to fold it in half, and that's the size I'm working on. You can work on a large piece of paper. You can decide if you want it horizontal composition or vertical. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of break um, our paper into segments so then we can decide what we want and where. So let's decide on a color. Um, Hmm, I've done one in red, purple. I think I wanna do one in blue. Now I wanna have a thick line that goes around my paper kind of to start, I call it a border sometimes. And this is gonna help me capture some of those geometric shapes inside. So then I can really share with the artist my interests, um, maybe some things from my travels. Now Lois Malo um, Jones, in a lot of her artwork. She was inspired by her many trips to the African continent, also to the Caribbean, and um, she has a lot of masks in her artwork as well. Uh, let me show you this one again. I like her use of thick and thin line as well, so we're gonna be talking about that. I used my marker to create a thick line border going all the way around. Now let me break it into um, different sections. I'm gonna look, it looks like there's like a rectangle right there. So maybe I'll go and start with a rectangle for mine. I'm being inspired by Lois Malou Jones artwork. I kind of like that it skips a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that. I think I will bring this line down. I'm gonna go all the way down my paper and maybe I'll stop right here. Hmm, maybe I'll go across. She has this large rectangle here, kind of in a vertical. Maybe I'll do a large rectangle going across my paper. Um, so kind of going in the horizontal. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four sections so far. Let me add a couple more. Maybe I wanna have up to like seven sections. So let me do a section here. I'm just gonna go across my paper again. Maybe something over here. I'm trying to think of geometric shapes. I could add a circle. You know what, I did do that in a different artwork, I'll show you. I'm gonna go down my paper here and I'm gonna stop right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and hmm, let me break this part into one more. Maybe I'll do a triangle. Hmm, I've never done a triangle in these um, Lois Malou Joan inspired artworks. So 
There, now I have a triangle in there. I have my seven sections. If you wanna add more, you can. I just want to kind of limit it because now I have to think about what I wanna share with you. Now I've used the blue so far for all of my geometric sections, so I'm going to switch colors off the bat. Since I started with a cool color, I'm gonna move into a warm color. And before I think about what I wanna share with you, um, like I shared, I had a dog, I like to paint, I like to go fishing. Uh, before I start in with sharing, I want to block out some solid areas of color. Like I'm going to go across, I'm just going to make this red. And before I put my red marker down, I want to make sure this doesn't just become the focal point. I want to use my red again in some other areas. Maybe down here, I'll outline my triangle. I'm not going to fill it in though. That one I'm gonna do a little bit thinner of a line. So I have red at the bottom of my paper. Maybe I can add a little bit at the top. Ooh, I like her spiral here. Again, I'm, I'm really looking at her blues and reds and maybe I will do a spiral here or maybe a triangle. Hmm, I have a triangle down here. Maybe I will do a series of diamonds. I changed my mind. Something I love about art, you can always change your mind. One, two, three. I fit three diamond shapes into that area. Now, by using my red marker at the top of my paper, at the bottom of my paper, and somewhere in the middle, I am already creating an area where it keeps your eye moving, okay? So that's why I was saying don't just draw one area and then put the color down. Make sure you use it in a, a couple of different areas. All right, I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna go back to kind of a cool color, my purple. I want to add something in here that's relevant to sharing with you something about my life, like Lois Malou Jones did here in her artworks. She's interested in plants. In fact, I do wanna show you this. At the very beginning of her art career, she used to design different patterns um, of artwork that was used in the textile, um, used for textiles, for like furniture and other things that would use fabric. So I, maybe that's why she has such a strong um, presence of pattern in her artwork. I already kind of created a pattern, a repeat of shape there. Now I do like to paint, but I also like to draw. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put like a pencil in this area right here. Now I'm gonna bring my pencil line down and it goes to a tip. There we go. There's my pencil. So already I'm sharing something personal in this artwork. Now I don't wanna just leave purple in one area. So maybe I can bring my purple down into this area. I'm just gonna use the side of my purple marker and get another thick line. And maybe I'll do a thin line right next to it. There we go. So now I have purple at the top area, at the bottom. So again, it kind of keeps my eye moving throughout my artwork. I will probably use purple again, but I'm already going to switch it up. I love all the different colors that are in Lois Malou Jones paintings. So I also want to have a lot of color in mine. Um, I'm switching to the orange. What could I share in this area that maybe would have orange? Ooh fall season, maybe um, some orange or yellow leaves, or maybe it's springtime. Over here, I shared my tomato plants. I love tomatoes and I have tomato plants growing often um, here. So, hmm, I don't know quite what I wanna share yet. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fill in two of my diamond shapes. There we go, I have some orange again. Maybe I'll go back down here kind of fill in this triangle. Okay, so I have orange at top and bottom. And you know what? I think I want an orange stripe right here. And thick, and maybe I'll do a thin line. So I'm using the tip of my marker for the thin line. Thick and thin line. Kind of repeating what I did over here with the purple. Again, my eye is easily moving throughout my picture with all of those different colors. I'm gonna switch again. I really wanna fill in my pencil yellow for some reason, so I'm just gonna pick up that yellow. All right, now that I have the yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and 
create a yellow background. I don't know what I want to have here yet, but I like that she has these blocks of color. Now this might affect my other marker colors going on top of yellow, um, but that's something I love about art, that we're always experimenting, um, that art always changes, so this might change my next color. I'll find out soon when I decide what I want to put on top of that yellow area. Maybe it will be a pattern, maybe it will be a design, or maybe it will personally tell you something I'm interested in. All right, I think it's time for some green. I only have my yellow there. You know what, I think I do. I'm gonna fill in my triangle with the yellow. Oh, that's really creating balance in my artwork where I'm balancing my colors, keeping my eye moving throughout my artwork and I feel comfortable with it so far. Now it's time for me to really start deciding what I wanna share with you. Okay, I do love gardening. Where in here can I kind of add some type of plant and what plant do I wanna share? Again, I'm looking at the plants. They don't have to be real plants. I can make up my own plant. I like that Lois Malou Jones kind of shares um, her love of plants. So I think I'm gonna go for a shape in here. Um, I already shared my tomato plant. Oh, I do like basil. Um, I'm gonna do like a basil plant. Kind of goes up. I'm trying to think of what it looks like as I'm drawing. Um, there we go. Now this is getting away from my geometric shapes and this is going into more of an organic shape. Shape of leaves, leaves can change. Maybe you see the side of a leaf so it really just looks like a line. So here's my basil plant. I'm using the side of my marker and the tip to get that thin line. And it's okay if my um, the shape of my leaves are not exactly the same. It's okay if they're not all the way filled in. I'm just laying down some ideas right now. I can always go back and add details later. So I'm thinking of my basil plant. Maybe there's a little stem there. And again, this might not look like a basil plant to someone else, but now you know it's a basil plant because I was able to tell you. So sometimes writing or vocalizing what it is you're doing in art helps others to understand what it is you're conveying or sharing in your artwork. So there's my wonderful basil plant. You know, I think I wanna put it in a little potted plant. Um, so I'll get to that, but I wanna use my green somewhere else. Hmm. Green diamond, I'm gonna fill that in. And then I'm left with these wonderful triangles that maybe I can fill with a different color. Um, maybe I'll just go adding to my triangular area down here. There we go, I have green from the top running down to the bottom of my paper, keeping the balance. I like it. I might pick up this green again. I want to bring some black into my artwork, um, maybe for my little potted plant, my little basil plant. I'm just gonna put it in a nice simple pot here. I'm gonna color it in. Ooh, maybe I should give it stripes. Mm, yeah, maybe I'll keep those stripes. If I don't wanna keep the stripes, I can always go back on top and color it in solid. Uh, but right now I kinda like that. I'm gonna go up here and add some black to the eraser of my pencil. And maybe I'll bring that line down. There we go. It's okay if it's a little crooked, that's all right. Ooh, maybe my pencil was writing something. I like that. So now I have geometric and organic shape in my artwork. Let me continue down here with my black. What else do I want to share? I've shared pencil, I like to draw. I've shared I like my basil plant. Um, let me see what I can share down here. I've already shared about my dog. My fish, I'm sorry, I'm thinking out loud right now. Hmm, I do like to cook. That's gonna be hard. Oh, I could draw like a food item down here. All right, I'm still thinking on it. And while I'm thinking, I'm just gonna add an extra line somewhere. I'm gonna do another line there and up here. That way, again, I can use my black in different areas, keeping my eye moving, and I can always go back and add to my triangle. This triangle has really saved me because when I'm trying to think out loud, I can just go back and add to my triangle. I keep saying, hmm, I'm gonna put the black away for right now. I can always bring it back. 
a color I haven't used yet. Let me see. Um, my brown. Here we go. All right, with my brown, I think I want to do like some type of swirl. I like that she's adding swirls in her artwork. Often I'll see a swirl in her artwork. Um, thinking of where I can maybe put a swirl. I do want to do a brown line that goes across, a thin brown line, and maybe a thick brown line. There we go. Thick and thin line is a great way to add contrast to an artwork. Using different colors like warm and cool colors is a great way to add contrast to an artwork. Um, with my brown, I've done that. A little thick and thin line. I could add to my triangle area, but I'm trying to think of what else I want to add. Maybe a thin line to start taking up some of the space. Now, I don't like the way that came out crooked. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to thicken the line and see if I can make it a little bit straighter. Nope, there must be something under my table that's making that line go a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to work with it. There we go. And now I'll do my thin line next to it. There, okay, that one came out a little bit straighter, so I'm a little more comfortable. So I have my browns in a couple areas. Maybe I will outline my diamond shapes. That's another way I can distribute my brown. Such a nice warm brown. I feel like this brown is a warm brown instead of a cool brown. And I'm gonna bring the brown into my triangles. I mean, into my diamonds, sorry. I said triangles. There we go. All right, again, my brown is at the bottom, middle, and top of my page, keeping my eye moving around. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch up colors again. I really, my eye keeps on going to this orange right here, so I'm gonna bring the orange back up here as the tip of my eraser on my pencil. Ah, that just makes me feel more comfortable. It's so funny how colors can make you feel more comfortable when they're distributed around the paper. All right, down here, hmm, over here I did share fishing. I love the water, the ocean, lakes, rivers, um, drawing, painting, dog, plants. What else can I share with you? I do like teaching. Ooh, I do like playing games. Maybe I could do a game controller here. Um, Scrabble is also a game I like. Maybe I should do some Scrabble tiles. Hmm, let me look over here and also be inspired. I like this shape here that she does that kind of reminds me of an eye. Um, oh, a spiral, that's something I wanted. All right, I'm just gonna dip into here and I'm going to use, nope, the blue. I'm going back to my blue. The blue that I outlined all of my shapes in, I'm going to do a design down here. And that design is going to be a spiral. Here we go. I'm going to use the side of my marker. Oh yeah, I like that spiral. And it also leaves this area over here. Leaves this area over here that maybe I can add to my design. Maybe I can do another triangle that's on top of that one. Or maybe it's pointing to the side. I have thick and thin lines showing contrast and I'm really just starting to fill up my area. All right, I think I wanna go back to my red. I'm gonna outline this triangle here with a little bit of red. Now I have a repeat of shapes down here, these red triangles. I wanna make sure that my eye doesn't go down here because it is a repeat of shapes. So that's why I'm glad that I have these diamonds up here to create a pattern. Maybe I can think about what I want in this area here. Hmm, do I want to design or do I want to share something else? I feel like all of my sharing's been up here. Hmm, this is almost like I throw a pebble in the water and it creates those ripples. Maybe that's what I could share down here. Um, oftentimes I do. I like to skip rocks in the water. Maybe that's something I can add as a share. All right, up into this yellow area again. I know that my markers might change colors. I think I'm going to go in with the purple see what purple does on top of yellow. Those are complementary colors, so uh, it might create like a darker color, like a brown, when they get mixed together. So let me go ahead and create something up in this area. Going back to kind of uh, gardening or being out in nature, I think I will draw a leaf. 
I'm going to draw this leaf kind of upright, almost like it is a design. Instead of making it look really organic in shape, I'm just kind of drawing my leaf as though it is a design. So let me do some of the veins in the leaf. I am trying to keep it um, somewhat with symmetry matching on both sides. Um, again, to kind of keep the overall balance. And the purple, I don't know if you can see that it looks purple. Um, it, the yellow background didn't change my purple too much, but it did darken it. This purple looks a lot more vibrant than the purple that's on top of the yellow. So that's something that the yellow did was it kind of changed the color of my purple. Um, I like it. So now I have these areas. I can go back in here and I can start to color in areas. I think I wanna leave the background white on my basil plant area here. Um, I could add a couple more stripes though. Maybe I'll bring that blue back and add another stripe of blue on top of the brown. Hmm, I'm gonna make that thicker. Again, this is why I love art. When creating, if you're like, eh, I'm not so sure about that, you can always go back and make changes. All right, and behind the blue here, I kind of like that there's this solid yellow area. Maybe I can do a solid yellow area down here as well. And then I'd really have my yellows, um, you know, bringing my eye into both spaces. Hmm, as I'm thinking about that, I'm gonna take a purple, I'm gonna do a purple line up here. I kind of like the way that looks. I'm gonna bring the purple line down here. Purple going across, skipping my plant. Gonna go all around this space. It's kind of filling up that little area right there. And that just inspired me to make that area purple. I'm gonna do it. I blocked it off. Ooh, I could share something there. I think I know what I wanna share. I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite colors is blue, and I'm gonna do that by sharing a heart. There we go. Again, by talking, or you can write these things out, it really helps the viewer to understand what you have going on in your artwork. Um, maybe I should leave it white here. You know what, I'm just gonna fill in my triangle yellow. That gives me another kind of block area of color. So in my artwork here, I've shared with you some personal interests of mine. I've also used thick and thin line to add contrast. I've used warm and cool colors to also add contrast. I pretty much used every color I have in my eight pack of markers. Maybe you have a 24 pack, I don't know. Do you have a hundred markers? Maybe that could be your goal in your artwork is to use every color. And remember, you can do that simply by adding thick and thin lines or areas of color. But once you add an area of color, make sure that you distribute it around your paper. That will give you the overall balance, the overall balance. And remember, when you're breaking your paper into sections, you can also use other geometric shapes. Here we go. And I like, again, when I picked up that red marker, I used it in three different places before I put it down just to keep the balance of the artwork. Lois Malou Jones is who we talked about today. Her colorful, beautiful artworks. Again, she was inspired by her many trips down to the African continent and the Caribbean. She was an artist that was an influential artist during the Harlem Renaissance period of time. And I'm so excited that I got to share this with you. Um, I also brought out my crayons. In these areas, I colored in my solid areas with crayon. Right now, I just used marker. So I just wanna let you know, I can always go back and add a second material being crayons to color in these areas, but I'm, I kinda like it that I have now a sample that was only done with marker. These samples were done with marker and crayon. Please get to work. I can't wait to see what you create.